Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Buttered Home. Welcome to Messy Kitchen Monday. Tonight, we have a really fun back to school snack in store. We're not gonna be on long because this is a quick one and you can make it in almost just as quick a time as what we're gonna be on tonight. Not really, but <laughs> it is that simple. The prep time is just almost nothing and it's great. Now, one of my favorite things at the holidays, and I know probably many of you, is like that wonderful Chex snack mix. Oh, it's so good. And I've had it several different ways. We make here at The Buttered Home a sweet variation of it that we'll probably share closer to Christmas because it's called Christmas Crunch. So, but tonight I wanted to share with you a great option for back to school. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have kids going back to school and that this will be for the kids, because it's not. It can be for kids of any age. <laughs> I think I think Big D polished ours off a couple of months ago when we made this for the blog. But anyway, it's great and it is filled with sweet, but just enough sweet, but not real sweet, and a little bit of citrus as well, and it is divine and it makes great great snack to put in lunches if you do have kids at home so tonight we are making orange snack mix with dried cranberries and it starts out with the check cereal now my favorite is the corn but you can use the rice or you can use the regular checks if you like the dark checks you can use that too or you can mix it up and use a little bit of all three. But if you're on a budget and you just wanna buy one box of cereal, that's okay too. So what you'll do is you'll get like a large roasting pan and this dude's not just for turkey. We use it for the snack mix too. What the idea is is to have something with sides because we're gonna be adding liquid in here and something that's large enough that you can spread this out in a single layer. So you can use a sheet pan, provided your sheet pan has a good at least half an inch side to it. But I have found that the roasting pans work the best. And then I can justify using a roasting pan other times of the year instead of just at Thanksgiving. So it's real easy. It's a dump and, and go type recipe. So you just take the cereal and I'll give out the measurements of everything later this week on the blog. Uh, for time's sake, we tend to kind of do everything in a rush here and just show you how to make it. So Messy Kitchen Monday is all about the prep portion of the recipes that we share. The idea is, is we like for you to go to thebutteredhome.com and you can get the recipe there. Because we like to have you in our kitchen, but the thebutteredhome.com is kind of like coming in and sitting down in the kitchen with us and getting the full recipe. So Facebook is just like, you're here for a visit. <laughs> That's the best way I know how to put it. But the ultimate goal is to get you to thebutteredhome.com. Anyway, we're gonna take our cereal and make a lot of noise and put it in a single layer in our roasting pan. And then we have these beautiful sliced salted cashews. Um, you can use whatever nuts you like, but the salted cashews are really good because they add kind of a soft texture to the snack mix. You've got the crunchy of the cereal and then Another good different type of texture is to have a nut in it, but this nut, cashews are kind of soft, so it adds just a little bit of a different element to the snack mix. And then we're just gonna sprinkle those in. And we're gonna set that aside, cause it's pretty much ready, aside from what we use to candy it. So what I have here is I have some warm melted butter and to that, I'm going to add some brown sugar. And you can do this overheat if you want to, but the brown sugar dissolves in the warm butter relatively quickly. So as long as you get your butter melted and warm, you can just add the brown sugar in 
And then we have orange juice. And we're gonna add the orange juice in on top of that and mix that all together. And this is what's gonna form the coating on our cereal and our nuts and make it into transforming it into a, almost candy. It's fantastic. <laughs> So we are going, that's nice and melted and all milled together. So we're going to drizzle this right over the nuts and cereal mixture. And stir it, make sure you get all the mixture coated really well. And this is why you kind of need a deep pan to do this in because to begin with, you're gonna have a good bit of liquid in there. All right, and then what we're gonna do, once we make sure that all of ours is coated really well, we're gonna kind of spread it back out into as close to a single layer as we can. And then this goes into a low heat oven for 45 minutes. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set a timer and every 15 minutes, you're gonna take it out and you're gonna stir it. So you'll have two big stirs during cooking time and then your last 15 minutes, you'll take it out and you'll stir it one more time and then you will turn it out onto a flat sheet pan and let it cool. And as it cools, this hardens and it's fantastic. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I made this last night and it almost got annihilated today, even though I gave a good stern warning. <laughs> but here it's all browned up and nice and crispy, and the cashews got good and roasted, and they're, they've got all that sweet with the brown sugar, and then just a little bit of tart of citrus from the orange juice. But orange juice is like a lot of other citrus. Once it cooks down, it leaves the sugar. So you almost have a citrus flavored sugar in here. So to this, then you're going to take these beautiful dried cranberries. And the reason why I like cranberries is cranberries have almost a citrus taste there themselves. Now you could use raisins, but that would almost be too sweet. Whatever your heart desires. But these dried cranberries are fantastic. And then you can take this and you can bag it up in little baggies and send it to work with your honey or to school with your baby. <laughs> Either way, they're really, really good. And I just want you, I hope you can hear. <laughs> they're all crunchy and good. And it's, I mean, this stuff disappears at my house like that. It disappears in a flash. So I would suggest that after it cools, you get a good airtight container, one that can be hid conspicuously and tuck it away high up in a cabinet where nobody knows it is. <laughs> so that is your orange cranberry snack mix. And trust me, in 45 minutes, because literally you saw my prep here, it takes less than five minutes. So in under an hour, you can have this wonderful treat. It's really not that bad for you. So as always, this recipe, along with all of our others, will be on the Buttered Home later this week. So if you make this or any of our other recipes, be sure and snap a picture. I'm a girl. We all like taking pictures of our food. That's just what we do as girls, right? So take a picture and tag us in it. You can hashtag the buttered home, hashtag messy kitchen Monday, however, and we'll search for those or you can send me a direct message and let me know that you have made this and send me a picture. This is a great, great little snack and it goes a long way and it's so much better 
than some of the other alternatives because you made it. <laughs> so don't go to the, snor the store to buy your, <laughs> your, don't go to the store, don't go to the store to buy your snacks for yourself or your kids. In less than an hour, you can have something nutritious and wonderful and it doesn't break the bank either. So we have one Monday left, one Monday left in the month of August. So, and we've done breakfast, we've done lunch, now we've done snack. So next Monday, we'll do an easy dinner. And back to school means back to football, back to drama, back to volleyball, back to I've gotta be here, your agenda is full for the week. So the great thing about supper that we're doing next week is gonna be that you'll use your crock pot. Your crock pot, and when you get home, I also have a cheat of something that makes it a delicious supper with it. So be sure and be here Monday night for our final back to school night. Um, and I won't spill the beans on what it is, but you don't wanna miss it, trust me. Y'all have a great week, and from the buttered home to your home, bye-bye.